Alrighty guys, so it is 8.44, uh, probably less than 24 hours until we leave Florida. Um, we got the trailer today, we were supposed to get it tomorrow, um, which is a Sunday, but we decided to take it early. Um, no extra fee or anything, but funny thing about the trailer is that we were supposed to get a 4x8 and we drove off and it was making a really, really um, loud noise that did not sound normal. And we had the U-Haul guy get into the car and test drive it with us. And he's like, yeah, that's not normal. So we got upgraded to a five by eight um, free of charge. And now like our stuff will definitely fit. So um, Ryson has pretty much half of the stuff in the trailer already. So I'm just gonna help him finish up. Uh, I mean, like there's literally, there's like nothing, really nothing left to put. It's really all this stuff. I know it looks a lot, but like if you compare it to the size of the trailer, it's like nothing. today is pretty much throw out whatever else that we don't need and clean up the house um, because we are leaving tomorrow um, but we did go run some errands this morning we went to go get last minute stuff like more wipes and diapers for Noah um, more dog food for Suba and um, we also went and got um, this I'll show you these droplets for Suba because since we're going on such a long road trip, we don't know how Suba will be in the car, car ride for that long. Like, he is very anxious and he'll start whining and crying as soon as he's in the car. So, um, we bought this. I'll show you. He bought this. It's called Richard's Organics Pet Comp. Promotes relaxation. Uh, used prior to events that cause stress and obviously going in a long car ride being uh, trapped or stuck inside The crate for so long that would definitely cause him stress. So I bought this it was $15 I think and Hopefully it worked. The cashier at Petco was like, oh this was like, oh this works well and she was telling us that she drove from Oklahoma and that she was pleasantly surprised that it worked and it worked pretty well for her small dog our dog suba he's only like 15 pounds so he's like a small medium dog and she said it worked very fine uh it worked very well um but for her bigger dog she had to give him a little bit more doses than her small dog but hopefully it works we're gonna test it out tonight what do you want baby you want this a fig part Oh, what is that? Eat? Okay, all right. Okay, wait a second. Here. Okay. There you go. You want the whole thing? Mmm, yummy. Good? Good? <laughs> Please don't mind the mess, but literally this is all we have. This is empty. We're taking our luggages, the duffel bags, the crate. Uh, Noah's bed and then here is where it's a little it's empty too This is the last box that needs to go, but we're waiting because we're still like using it uh, One or two pots and then the kitchen is what still is driving me nuts Because we're still using the kitchen as just like the little stuff since we don't have any furniture We need to please to just put things and obviously the kitchen has the most counter space at the moment 
So, yeah. But I'm going to see how much organizing I can do while Ryson is gone. He went to go um, pawn the two TVs we have. Whoa, oh, whoa. What's the matter? What you doing? Nothing? But he's going to go pawn the two TVs that we have, see how much he can get for that, and then he'll come back. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to see how much I can get done right now. use when I was in college with him while he was in my belly and then we have over here the dining room area um, this is all the stuff that we just need to bring into the trailer I think this bag has all of like our snacks and stuff that we'll take with us um, like I said that last box and it's pretty clear here um, the kitchen is still kind of crazy um, it's not too bad. I just have to get the dishes done and um, put our utensil rack away. Uh, clear up all of this. We're throwing that full basket of stuff away because we just don't need it. And there's no point in taking it with us. And yeah. No, what are you doing? Really? That's how you feel about cleaning? What you doing? Yeah. And then our room, pretty much empty, just a bed here. Suba, and then um, the other room over there. Mother in law cleaned it up already. She cleaned up, uh, this is where she was staying. Um, but this is clear, we just have to sweep it up from where her bed was. There's nothing in here except for. Oh, look at that, her old shoes, which she didn't throw away. And then the bathroom. Oh, and the bathroom is pretty much clean. Oh, get up, let's go. Let's go, get up. But yeah, other than that, we just have to clean the kitchen and clean and sweep and mop the floor. So it's kind of hard to do that when Noah's still awake and he's just gonna run all over the dirt pile and just walk all over newly cleaned floors. You got some tripleta sandwich. Mm. Some pork and mofongo and a little salad. Nice. What is this sauce? It's like a garlic broth. You go garlic with it. broth? Do you mm -hmm. dip it in there? Yeah, it's to eat with the mofongo. So. Nice. You ready to chow down for our last meal in Florida? Yeah. Pretty much. Tired. Tired. Enjoying our last meal before we depart to Florida. Uh, too bad Noah's sleeping, but not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> we get to enjoy a meal without Noah bothering us. But yeah, this is our uh, last meal through Uber Eats because we're too tired to go out anywhere, and the trailer is attached to the car, so that's just too much work to do. And we're pretty much done, right? Yeah, uh, we're leaving at three in, three in the morning, maybe four, depending, depending, and then we'll make our way out. All right guys, so this is it. It is currently 12.48 right now, and we are heading out. Um, we are at Walmart. We need to buy a cooler and ice so that way we can um, have Noah's milk and um, other stuff. I think we have like boiled eggs or something to keep cool while we're on the road. <clears throat> and then after that it's it's pretty much just a long road ahead of us I'm kind of sad because we're leaving Florida it's like an emotional like an emotional roller coaster because I've lived here since I was eight years old I this is what I'm used to this is what I'm accustomed to but sorry my throat it's like I think I'm getting sick because of the weather change but 
really excited, I'm nervous, like I've said multiple times, it's such a big change for all of us, because Bryson has lived in Florida pretty much all of his life as well, but yeah, um, I just hope that we have a smooth ride, nothing happens, Noah is happy and content, and my dog does not bark or whine. So I'll see you guys at our next stop. Bye.